What's up, people? I've got my bookish updates to you. What's happening in my life that usually involves book? First, today was spring day at my school. I left the library, gets donations from books, from students, and extras that they have. And, well, I, knowing me, I got a bunch of books. Oh, one thing and whatnot. Sorry, I digress. <laughs> yeah, um, so I got a lot of books from the sale. I also help them with the sale and help set up, help price tag, because you know, I love librarians. They're awesome. They love books like I love books. So let's get it started and I'll show you the books that I got at the book sale today. Uh, the Cage, and it's by Ruth Minske Sender. It's basically about the Holocaust. Holocaust. Okay. I got Foundling. Mother Monster Blood Tattoo by DM Cornish. This one just sounded really interesting and it looked cool. It says, An extraordinary adventure, a thrilling le legacy laced world, an unforgettable book. So, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I just realized I can put my name in here. This is in. This book is in the care of blank. Book child. It says book child, so that's cool. Oh, it's book one too. Autobiography box, a step by step kit for examining the life worth living. It's the autobiography box owner's manual. Basically, I write in it. Uh, there's little cards like recall your greatest accomplishment. What was it? What? Was it an award? Did you have a child? Was it something you were honored with publicity? Or was it a secret thing? Do you know it alone or with a group of people? This is remember, it's camera. That is something we definitely, I'm definitely gonna do on video. So then, you know, you can get to know more about me. Um, I don't know really why I got this because I'm two years away from actually taking this test. It's the official ST, uh, SAT study guide and you know, by the time I have to take it, I'm gonna need a new one. But you know, you're never too young to start studying. Or am I? I don't know. This is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wet Warger. I can't read, I'm sorry. But I've actually, I've read this book, but you know, I really wanted to own it. So I did, and I got it actually for a dollar. So pretty good deal. Um, I got the right brain workbook which is 366 exercise to liberate your brain so basically it's a workbook for writing and I quite enjoy writing I'm actually working on a story right now about kind of like um, steampunk where it's ancient China except it's got androids and stuff it's about two twins that have the powers of the gods they can either destroy the world or save it and one's yin and one's yang so that's what I'm writing I've got prisoner of Tehera which is a memoir by Marina Nimate. It's um, it's it looks like a really good book. I don't know exactly what it's about, but it looks really interesting. Soulless by Gail Carriger, which is a novel of vampires, werewolves, and parcels. Which is this is also another steampunk kind of book. I actually got it at the library. I didn't read it because I was reading other books, but you know, it's on sale. Got it. Grab it. Deep blue. Uh, it's by Jennifer Donnelly, and I've I tried reading it once, but you know I was also reading other books. But now I got it. Till until the world till until I can't read. <laughs> okay, until the end of the world by Catalina Cross. Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. My I can't read names. Um, I don't know who it is, uh, but I've also, I've heard about this one, I've tried reading it, and I want to, and I'm not sure if this is the first one, God, I hope it is, but tell me, if you, if you know this is the first one, leave a comment down below and tell me, Shiver by Maggie Sapphire, she also, um, I feel like I've read another one of her books, I know I've read this series before, at least we got the first one, Speech how one man saved the British monarchy. It's about an actually true event. I've watched the movie about this, but I really, I, 
quite enjoy the British royal family. We got The Stone and the Sword by T.H. White, which is a magical story of young King Arthur. We're actually learning about King Arthur in school, but I quite enjoy King Arthur without schoolwork. The books that I did not get at the book sale today, but I did get today. So, but, The Trials of Apollo by Rick Rodin. So, I got that today. I got that today. Okay, some super exciting news for me. So I got two art books. B, Slides Like a Feather. I can't pronounce the name. Manoka Sardir. This comes out September 2016. And then I got Good Wishes Gone Bad, which is a Star Darling book. I know that's kind of a younger kid thing, but they have this song called Up. That's really inspirational. I really like that book. That book so I got that today. But to bring up how I got this. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so I have a volunteer ship at my local bookstore this summer, and I'm so excited I get to learn how book selling works. I just, it's, oh, I'm so excited, like super, super, super excited. And because when I got that book today, The Trials of Apollo, I actually got to talk to one of the uh, co-owners, and she says that, you know, I might actually get a job and I'm so excited I'm gonna get a job working for one of my favorite bookstores. I'm just so excited and that's, this has all happened today. I learned this today. I knew about the volunteer ship before because I kind of asked like, hey, I don't have school this summer because you know it's summer. Can I kind of work here? Oh my God, I'm so excited.